Good morning, children. Today, we are going to do some reading activities. Please look at your textbook, page 77. 同学们，早上好！今天呢，我们要一起来做一些的阅读活动，请翻开你的课本第七十七页。Let's look at your textbook. Can you give Emily some tips on how to use the internet safely? Then read the tips given below. Did you give Emily the same or different tips? Apparently, today we are going to learn about internet safety tips. 那今天呢，我们要学的是关于网络的安全。If you look at your textbook, there are all together eight tips given here. Let's read these tips together. Can you read after me? 同学们，请跟着老师念。Internet safety tips. Never send pictures of yourself to people you meet online. Very good. So. You don't send pictures of yourself to your online friends. Why? Because you never know what are they going to do with your pictures. 首先呢，千万不要把你自己的照片在网上传给你网上的朋友、你的网友。为什么呢？因为你不知道他们会用你的照片来做一些什么事情。Secondly, please read after me. 请跟着老师念。Do not open links in emails from strangers, as you may download programs that can harm your computer. All right. Do not open links in emails from strangers. If you see an email address which you do not know and there is a link, please do not open it, as you may download programs that can harm your computer. Harm means spoil. It can be hackers, so they can hack into your computer system. They can read your information and. Even they can slow down your system. Harm 就是危害。为什么我们不可以打开陌生人送给我们的邮件呢？因为可能会危害我们的电脑。Next, please read number three with me. 请跟着老师念。Do not give out personal information about your family. Friends or yourself. Personal information 就是你的个人资料，所以请不要将你的或你家人的或是你朋友的个人资料转发出去。Number four, please read with me. Never meet anyone whom you have chatted with. Online, without your parents' permission. Very good. Never meet anyone whom you have chatted with online. 就是说，你在网上认识的朋友呢，不要去见他。Without your parents' permission. 若是没有你父母的允许，请千万不要去见你的网友。Number five, think before you post anything online. 你在网上 post 或者是转发任何的消息之前呢，请你先想好。Why? Because if you post Some fake news you might get captured by 
the police， 因为呢，我们的国家是有假消息法案的，要是你转发了假的消息，那你有可能会被警察抓的哈、哦。Number six。Once you post something online, many people can read it. 当你在网上你 post 东西，你转发一些的消息，有很多人都可以读的。So you can't say that I like it, so I post it. No, that's not the case because this is A cyber wall. On the internet, when you post something, many people can read it. 那你不是说我喜欢，所以我就把它 post 在网上，不是，因为这是一个网络的世界。当你在网上 post 任何的消息呢，都有很多人可以看到的。Number seven. Do not tell anyone your password. If other people have your password, they can pretend to be you online. Do not tell anyone your password. 不要把你的密码告诉任何人 If other people have your password, 如果别人有你的密码的话呢 They can pretend. Pretend 就是假装 They can pretend to be you online. 他们就可以在网上假装是你。他们可以装成是你。So this is very dangerous. Number eight. Check the information you read on websites. Because the information May not always be correct. Right? Check the information you read on websites. 当你在网上所得到的资料呢，你需要重新检查核查。Why? Because the information may not always be correct. 因为这些资料呢，不一定是对的。So you must check whether it's a real news or a fake news. 那你就要检查那到底是真的呢，还是假的资料 ？Alright. So we have three children here. Let's read what the children are saying. Identify which safety tip they have not followed. 这三位小朋友呢，他们都没有按照上面的。上面这八项的网络安全指示呢，来使用他们的网络。每一位小朋友呢，都犯了一条，所以他们到底是犯了哪一条呢？我们一起来看。Please read together. One, two, three. I opened a link in an email I received yesterday. Now. My computer takes a very long time to start. Now, can you tell me which safety tip has he been not followed? 他到底是犯了哪一条的规则呢 ？It is tip number two, 就是第二条。Do not open links in emails from strangers, as you may download programs that can harm your computer. If you got it correctly, well done. 答对的同学非常棒。All right, now let's look at Rita. Can you read this together? 我们一起念好不好 ？One, two, three. I gave my password to a friend I met online. Later, someone pretended to be me and sent emails from my email address. All right. Do you know which safety tip has Rita not followed? 
，所以 Rita 到底是犯了哪一条呢 ？Very good, it's number seven. Do not tell anyone your password. If other people have your password, they can pretend to be you online. 他所犯的就是第七条，千万不要告诉别人你的密码，因为别人得到你的密码之后呢，他可以在网上假装成你。All right, look at Param. Shall we read this together? 我们一起念。Ready? One, two, three. I received an email from a stranger. The email said I had won a prize and asked me to email him my home address. So I did that. I did that means he has sent him the address. So can you tell me? Which safety tip has Param not follow? So he has not followed which one? It is number three. Do not give out personal information about your family, friends, or yourself. So Param have sent his address to him. So definitely. He had broke this rule. 那因为 Param 呢把自己的地址给了别人，所以呢很明显他就是犯了第三条。All right. So we have read eight internet safety tips today. In your Google Classroom, I have given you another link, and it will direct you to here. 那同学们，你们的 Google Classroom 呢也有另外一个的 link， 就是网址，就会把你们带到这里。The internet, a friend or an enemy. Read the text and do the exercises. 那这里呢有一篇短文，你们需要自己读。读完了之后呢，下面有一些的问题。How are we going to do the exercises? So number one. Say if the sentence is true or false. In the blanks here, in the boxes here, just if it is a true, you can type true. If it is a false, just type false. 那同学们，第一个部分呢，就是 true or false。你们只需要在格子里打上答案。Number two, do the test on the text. According to the text, then you choose the correct answer. If it is A, you just click A. 那这里呢，我们有四题，每一题只有一个答案，请你就按你认为是对的答案。After you have complete your work, please click finish. All right, that's all for today. Thank you and bye.